Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a special one for you today as we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart. I will be covering the current long trades that I am in right now. We will be going over the target of these trades and we're also going to be taking a look at how we can expect Bitcoin to play out over the next week ahead. I think you're absolutely going to love this video, ladies and gentlemen. And without further said ado, let's get into what we love and that is the technical analysis. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? We're obviously currently seeing a bit of a move to the upside here, which is very sweet in itself. Um, and as always, I do this, bring you these videos every day for the educational reasons. And I truly believe if you just focus on what I'm saying here, oh, there is just so much opportunity in this market. It's absolutely incredible. So let me educate you before we go into what is happening right now. I want to take two minutes out of the video to talk you through how we got such a big rise to the upside. And this is obviously, you have to think back four days because we obviously got that breakout on the fifth. So four days ago, we had a big move to the upside here. Okay, specifically during this section of the chart, lasted a few days getting underway on the fifth here. And so we obviously have broken out of a high term time frame range. Okay, so that in itself is bullish. Yeah, that for me is bullish. Uh, hence, you've probably seen it on Twitter, but I actually have is no short positions, no short positions, shorts, um, you know, swing shorts or sculpt shorts, no shorts at all right now, only long positions I hold, uh, which is quite an occurrence in itself. It doesn't happen very often, but yeah, for, for, for now, I have no short positions. Uh, so obviously we are going back to the fifth when this move to the upside really got underway. You might be thinking, what happened here? Why did this move become so aggressively you know, why did it why did it move up so quick? You might be thinking to yourself, well, I can explain this to you, actually. We obviously originally had short positions from early in the day on the 5th and the 4th of um, August. And what happened here was you had two major reasons for such an aggressive move to the upside. Obviously, those short positions, and I can tell you this because from experience, I was also short at this point. And we obviously had a CCV setup. So again, this is from the 5th. OK, around 9 a.m. And we're saying the CCV target is 37,450. E.g., if you are short like myself, then that is the target of the short position. But we had an extra layer of confluence what happened here in the end. So as you can see, we make our way down, we make our way down, we make our way down. There was the target of the short, 37,450. OK, 37,450. Well, look at the brilliant confluence that we had here. Not only was the target absolutely, to be honest with you, the absolute low of the move, but we also then had a brilliant swing failure pattern. So we had two reasons here. We basically had the short position, e.g. when people take profits, that means long, essentially, because you are having to buy back your position. And on top of that, we obviously have, you know, the take people taking profits and then the long of the swing failure pattern again back on, on the, you know, back on, you know, four days ago this was. So we had the long from the swing failure pattern or simultaneously having the take profit of those shorts. So you can imagine this in itself. That is going to create buying pressure naturally. But the buying pressure was obviously absolutely massive. Let's be honest with you. As very, very, very quickly, we make our way to the upside, consolidate for a day or two before another move here to the upside. And now we obviously are entering a new range within here. So currently now bringing us on to where we are right now. We obviously were aware yesterday of that CME gap that we had. Um, so the CME uh, gap was obviously something to be aware of. We made our way down, 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 down during the night and we found a little bit of support into the morning here. OK, and again, this is something just to be aware of. What what did we have? Just like this support here of the absolute low was off of the CCV setup. Well, today we had another CCV setup and that was actually, um, you know, we are very, very, very close to the target here. We're actually, um, you know, about 0.4% off the, the target, which sits at about $44,850, more or less, okay? So we got another bullish CCV target, and this is a move over Elon Musk territory, because as soon as I gave the update to my team this morning at 10.07, that was that I have, you, you probably can't even read this, can you? I'll move out of the way. I gave this update at 10.07, 
that I hold no short positions at the moment and only longs. And well, you can probably guess what happened straight after that. Move over, Elon Musk. We run this market. Now CC Paul gave the update here. It was absolutely flatlining, doing nothing. There's the update. Boom, there's the reaction. And I will say this, ladies and gentlemen, if you are only in the free spectators section, at 10.08, that was also given by the good old Nefaro, who has given away, I think he must have given away nearly 10 free champion memberships. Um, so yeah, you might get lucky with a free membership from this guy because he is the, the gift of the people the robin hood as we're calling him uh yeah he also gave that away to the spectators so if you're in there you can say thank you to him because that was given just before this pump to the upside uh obviously i posted that in the group at 10.07. Only long positions at the moment, no shorts. There's the update. Boom. Let's go for that CCV setup, which we look looks as if we might be hitting it maybe while we're making this video. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Um, so obviously we're very close to the target. So we have you can remember what happened last time we hit our target. We obviously got from a now there we go. CCV target here. Boom, 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 boom. And that's me very happy. Should we give the update to the team? Let's give the update to the team as you are watching this. Let's go into the Bitcoin technical analysis and let's go CCV target hits. Muy bien. <laughs> Muy bien. We'll give the little, we'll give the little bit of money roll because I think everyone's going to be pretty content off of that one. Uh, so there we go. That is the target of the CCV setup hit then, isn't it? So well, I'm very content with this. Uh, not necessarily means we have to close out of all our positions at the moment, but this is obviously a time to monitor the price action as we come into well, what could be described as a little bit of resistance. But again, I only hold long positions right now. That will be a take profit hit on that uh, long though. Uh, so, well, that was that was a good start to the day. CCV setup hit within literally within uh, the hour of, of reminding people. Uh, anyway, brilliant news that is. So, um, Wow, there we go. We've hit the CCV target during the video. Um, <laughs> so we can say ultimately we are currently range bound within the, that high of the high coming in at about 45,500. And obviously uh, support, well, you know, the support is a little bit more obvious, I would say. If we just take this of the range, we got our support currently coming in at around, let's say, 43,500. So you know, it does seem quite a while away now to the downside, but obviously nothing is impossible here. Uh, we definitely have the confluence around there. So we, we, we have support currently, yeah, I would say about 43,500. Uh, obviously, well, I don't want to say this is a massive resistance, but the, this is a definitely a take profit zone. And that's obviously from the CCV target, about $45,000. So, um, you know, we're, we're on it right now, but we can expect the push to the upside. Let's be honest, I'm, I'm personally, I'm pretty bullish at the moment. But uh, until we lose support, I personally, him on the bullish perspective you know and for the people that are not aware i done a champions live stream last night and in last night's champions live stream i also made it very clear only long positions you know and leaning to the bullish side so this is nothing new if you're a champion member but you know just re reiterating it here for for people that are not yeah personally i am pretty bullish to be honest with you uh until we lose support or we get a rejection from resistance but obviously all we've done all we've done thus far is after that you know after that target has hit we've just been continuously you know bullet really bullish market structure a lot of power to the upside you know and there's just no need for me to show it to be honest with you so i'm not going to uh <laughs> so yeah that, that's the way that we can approach this person you know approaching this in a sensible manner ladies and gentlemen i don't think you need to get euphorically bullish there's no need to be euphorically bullish there's really not in my opinion much need to be bearish at the moment either i think you can approach this with this neutral kind of outlook and bias of okay brilliant we are we are currently holding great bullish market structure every dip to support and i mean the support levels that you're bouncing off of are no joke at all they are very well respected we are then getting great bounces from support or simultaneously getting bullish setups. And I mean, look at this, they're just playing out absolutely perfectly. Um, so the technicals themselves are very well, very well respected. I suppose our next level to the upside is naturally going to be these highs for the potential swing failure pan off the higher game. Um, but ultimately, I think we have to, we can approach this. Well, I'll just say this for educational reasons. The way I'm approaching this is until we've lost support here or until we have an actual proper rejection from resistance, I have no reason to short. I'm more than happy to hold my longs. And, um, you know, if this if this goes to 50K, great. If it goes to 100K, great. Uh, you know, but at some point we are going to get a rejection. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 
don't take that. See, I'm not expecting a hundred thousand dollars sort of thing. So, you know, I'm expecting, yeah, on my next level of resistance. Do we get a rejection at the next level of resistance? If not, we look for the next level above us. Okay. So I'm more than open to shorting the market. Of course, it's just currently I have absolutely no reason to do so. And while I have no reason to do so, well, I'll happily sit in my long, long positions. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not going to try and uh, out outsmart this market when there's absolutely no need to. So, um, yeah, I guess the smart thing to do right now is, is trade the trend, which the trend is up. So, um, yeah, that was um, that was today's update. What I will say, if, if you want to smash the likes, you know, if you absolutely want to smash the likes, I'll do a live stream for you where we can talk through what's happening in the moment. Because obviously, once this video is uploaded, it's it's going to be about, you know, half an hour to upload. Um so, you know, we could have rejected and be all the way down here, or we could have taken the high. So if you want to live stream, smash the likes. Let's say 2,500 likes. I will go live for you and give you an update on Bitcoin. Have I entered a short now? Have we rejected from the CCV target or are we pushing up to new highs? Well, let's see what happens when we hit 2,500 likes and I'll talk you through what is happening in the moment. Uh, but apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the insights of how we timed that low a few days ago. Pretty impressive, if I say so myself. How we then managed to get the longs into that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful CCV target, if I'm totally honest with you. Update given. Hello, hello, hello to the money, money, money. And uh, yeah, there you go. Bam, 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 bam. Um, <laughs> Thank you ever so much anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learn a little bit from it. Keynotes to take away are CCV setups. Don't forget about them because they're pretty much gold mines at the moment. And, uh, you know, remain with that neutral bias. We currently obviously can say we are within a within a range currently if we break the high of the range. And, uh, you know, the, the important support intraday, I'm going to repeat it, 34,500. Th th sorry, 43,500 for me. It's a very important intra day support and obviously your intraday resistances you're up you're up at it now so um yeah that was the quick update that i wanted to give you i'm going back to the i'm going to go back and actually trade this so i'm going to wrap up the video go back to discord and uh yeah thank you ever so much everybody if you want to see more uh chartchampions.com i suppose smash the likes thank you ever so much and that's cc pool sending their regards thank you and goodbye cheers